Hallelujah. This is just a beautiful day the Lord's made. The sun is shining. Just a beautiful day the Lord has made. You know, the Lord gives his beloved sleep. Restful, peaceful sleep. He said there's no rest for the wicked, though. There's really no peaceful sleep for the wicked. The Bible says no rest for the wicked. But with the beloved of God, it's a different story. Because when we lay down, we know our Father is right there with us. Our Father is looking after us through the night. We can have that confidence that our God is taking care of everything, even while we sleep. You know, I was reading something from Charles Spurgeon this morning. I want to share it with you. Is the reader likely to be confined for a while to the bed by sickness? Let him go upstairs without distress, with this promise upon his heart. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. When we go to bed at night, let this word smooth our pillow. We cannot guard ourselves in sleep, but the Lord will keep us through the night. You know, I want to step right near there. The Lord will keep us through the night. I'm thinking about when the Lord talks about the darkness that is coming on the land. You know what? The Lord will keep us through the night. He'll keep us through that dark time. He promises to do so. Hallelujah. Those who lie down under the protection of the Lord are as secure as kings and queens in their palaces, and a great deal more so. If with our lying down there is a lying down of all cares and ambitions, we shall get refreshment out of our beds, such as the anxious and the covetous never find in theirs. Ill dreams shall be banished, or even if they come, we shall wipe out the impression of them, knowing that they are only dreams. If we sleep thus, we shall do well. How sweetly Peter slept, when even the angel's light did not wake him, and he needed a hard jog in the side to wake him up. And yet he was sentenced to die on the morrow. Thus have martyrs slept before their burning. So he giveth his beloved sleep. To have sweet sleep, we must have sweet lives, sweet tempers, sweet meditations, and sweet love. Hallelujah. That is just a wonderful thing I read this morning. You know, the scripture that they had with that is Proverbs 3.24. When thou liest down, when thou liest down to rest, to sleep, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Thou shalt not be afraid to be startled by a sudden alarm, to fear, to be afraid, to shake. Thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down. Thou shalt lie down to sleep, to rest, and thy sleep shall be sweet, shall be pleasant. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. When we lie down at night to go to sleep, 
having committed ourselves into the hands of a faithful creator and our beloved father our heavenly father we won't be afraid of thieves breaking in to hurt us or to rob us of our property or of the fire to consume our dwellings and our substance or of apparitions or ghosts or diabolical creatures trying to deceive our mind our sight disturbing us in the night no we will lie down in rest in peace and we shall have sweet sleep hallelujah